So the SSD on my PC failed, although it's only two and a half years old. I was kind of expecting it to live for at least five years. So today we're going to discuss why did it fail and we're going to also discuss the replacement. Let's do this. So I do a lot of video and photo editing on my PC. Now the problem is, most of the software I use is very RAM hungry. And the number one thing that the OS does when you use most of the RAM on your PC is that it will use the page file. So what is a page file? A page file is basically a very big file on your hard drive that acts like an extension of your RAM, but it's on your hard drive. Since it's an extension to the system memory, if the system ran out of memory, uh, it will have the page file as an alternative. It will basically unload any application that's not being used actively now into the page file, freeing up more room to whatever applications that you're actively using now, which is very beneficial. Now, the problem with SSDs in this kind of setup is that they are ridiculously fast. So in a lot of cases, you won't notice that the system is actually slowing down to offload some things on the page file, which is pretty nice. But the not very nice thing about it is that SSDs have a write limit. Now, what does that mean? SSDs use cells to store data, and there are many cell designs that came across the years. There is a single level cell, which is a cell that can store one bit. There is a multi-level cell, which is a cell that can store two bits. And there is a triple level cell, which is a cell that can store three bits. The single level cell being the most expensive to manufacture and also offers the highest write endurance. And the triple level cell offering higher density, therefore a higher capacity. The single level cell is the most durable compared to the others. In a single level cell design, you only need to erase one bit to write one bit. In other cell types that store multiple bits in a single cell, you have to erase all bits to change one of them, which significantly decreases its write endurance. When you do too much of that, at some point each cell will wear out, and when cells start to wear out, you're going to be in a situation where the SSD can't write uh, to particular cells. Since there are billions of cells on an SSD, you might think, oh, it might not be a big problem. But in, a, in the case of a page file, it's always stored in the same area on the SSD, which means that uh, there is a particular area will suffer from a lot of writes all the time because page files are used almost all the time. So this is the reason why it failed. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate. And at the same time, there is not much actually I can do to avoid it. I still highly recommend keeping the page file enabled because you don't want to open a big application or do a big render and then the system tells you, sorry, we ran out of memory and everything crashes. That's not a very good thing. But uh, there is an alternative solution to that is to use maybe storage dedicated for, for a page file. Like for example, the Intel Optane storage. They have very low latency and the storage is not huge but that's the purpose. It's meant to be an accelerator for your system, not meant to be for storage in any way. So what I basically did is that I bought another SSD with uh, more uh, capacity because the one I had was a bit small. It was, I think, 250 gigabytes. And I bought one that's 960, which is amazing. It's also a little bit faster. It's rated for, I think it was, um, what, three and a half gigabytes per second sequential reads, which is amazing. So this should accelerate the shit out of my PC. <laughs> now, in terms of expected lifetime for the new SSD, I have no idea how well it will perform. But at least now, uh, I know that the page file thing can cause issues. Yeah, so the new SSD will basically be the new system drive. And the old one, I might put it as a scratch disk, like where I keep just temporary files, things I'm just currently working on it and I need a little bit more speed to access those things or it might be actually a good idea to use that as the page file because I know it's wearing out already it's not completely dead so I can still kind of use it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start replacing the SSD so the first thing we need to do is unplug the PC from everything and put it on a work surface I put it on my desk and look how beautiful that thing is and look how dusty it is as well I never cleaned it since I bought it, which was in late 2015. 
This is the SSD that we're replacing. It's the Corsair MP500 NVMe M.2 SSD. It has 240GB of memory, it uses multi-level cell that we talked about before, and it's rated for up to 3GB per second sequential reads, and 2.4GB per second sequential writes. We simply unscrew the screw that holds the SSD in place, and we remove it. And here is the new SSD, it's the Corsair MP510. It's also an M.2 NVMe SSD with 960GB of storage and it's rated for 3.48GB per second sequential reads and 3GB per second sequential writes, which is notably faster than the MP500. It's a triple level cell SSD, which means it has less endurance than the one it's replacing. But it's fine by me, at least I know what to avoid and what to expect in terms of the longevity of the SSD. We simply put the new SSD in the M.2 connector and screw it in, and we're done with installing it. What I need to do now is to check if the motherboard had read the SSD, and apparently it did. The next step is to boot into the Windows installation disk and install Windows. It's a very straightforward process, and apparently it takes so little time. A few minutes later and a few restarts later, now Windows is ready to boot up, and after a few questions and a few settings, it's running just fine. It's really nice seeing Windows boot for the first time on the new SSD, but it's not so nice to see that Windows took the liberty to install some software I don't need, like the one used to control the RGB lights on my keyboard. But it's fine, and we're done here. Well, I think it's time to end the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe, and uh, see you in the next one. Peace.